Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex uh, Kickstart video where I take a look at the three major currency pairs to kickstart your trading day. And since it's Monday, to kickstart your trading week, so let's get started. Let's just start by looking at the euro versus US dollar. We'll focus on the four hour chart here. And uh, what we see in this uh, currency pair is uh, last week's uh, trading that guy goes from here to here. The range was a very narrow. Uh, narrow for the trading range. I think it was 30, 70 pips and that got, that was the lowest trading range going back to I think 2019. So not a lot of uh, uh, up and down uh, volatility, or, or I'm sorry, there was a lot of up and down volatility, but there wasn't much movement at all uh, for the week. I moved higher, lower, higher, lower, and then higher into the close, closing a little bit higher on the week, but uh, you know, it was sort of a, a, a a nothing burger of a uh, of a week for the uh, currency pair overall. Technically, uh, we did uh, head down to uh, test the uh, rising 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart uh, here and here. Um, it sort of sniffed it. You could still see the white uh, in between the line and the uh, uh, prices here. And uh, we had a uh, opportunity to move uh, below new session lows on uh, toward the end of the week, but uh, could not sustain any momentum uh, to the downside. And so basically pretty much had a nice little floor here. One, two, three, four, five, you know, with little little moves below that level. You can, can't even see it. Uh, but uh, the uh, 100 bar moving average is now near that floor. So uh, we're still a, a ways away from that. Uh, but uh, if the price should move lower, that uh, level is going to be a key level this week uh, going forward. Now, uh, the uh, price on Friday did move back above a cluster of moving averages uh, here in the middle including the falling 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart that's this green line of the chart the rising 100 day moving average that's this blue line right here and this uh, flat line right here you can barely see is the green it, green line is the 200 day moving average and those moving averages uh, come between 1.0815 1.0826 somewhere around there and as long as the price remains above those levels the bias remains to the upside on the top side the 38.2% uh, retracement of the uh, move down from uh, this high going back to uh, the month of uh, December to the low price that we saw in February is going to be the uh, key target on the top side to get to and through if the buyers are to uh, take more control. Uh, the most people know that I like to see a trend like move get above the 38.2 and it did right here, but it didn't right here where the price uh, uh, you know failed up here. And then came back up to that 38.2 percent retracement and moved down to our floor here. So we need to get above that 38.2 percent retracement to prove that the buyers are more in control and they want to take more control. If they can't do that, then uh, this is just a, a, a plain vanilla correction consolidation, all under the 38.2 percent retracement. We see the rotation back to the downside. So that's going to be a key level, and we are trying to push up toward that level but still finding the ceiling against 1.8064 level at the 38.2% retracement level. Let's now take a look at the uh, dollar versus yen. I have it on the hourly chart here and in uh, last week's uh, trading last Thursday, as a matter of fact, the price did break below this uh, swing area here, this yellow area right through here. And there are some uh, support and resistance levels in this uh, area uh, going back in time. But uh, you can even go back uh, further to the four hour chart and take a look at all this area over here where the price either had found ceiling, ceiling, ceilings, or floors against the level. Now it got messy through here, but uh, there are times when the price uh, fell below that level and then found uh, resistance, uh, for instance, here, and uh, then found support here, and then resistance here, and then support here, and then resistance here, resistance here, resistance here before moving to the downside. So this area right through here between 149.70-ish and 150, uh, well, let's move it to the 17.5, the uh, 200, uh, 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart is going to be uh, key. Now, on the top side, might as well stay right on this uh, chart right here. Uh, we have uh, all these uh, different highs uh, coming in through here, which formed this uh, ceiling last week. The price had, uh, or the buyers had their opportunity to break above the 150.87 level, uh, and uh, they couldn't do it. That was a high price for the year going back to. Uh, uh, the month of uh, February. So uh, the, the uh, price uh, that's, that started this uh, rotation to the downside, but we did rally into the uh, close last week and move back up toward the high. And uh, going back to our hourly chart, uh, we can uh, see that the uh, uh, this uh, high area right through here uh, is is in the next key target here on Friday. We came up to the 
uh, low of that uh, the high swing area ahead of the uh, extreme uh, right through right uh, here and uh, could not uh, get extend any further. So there's a uh, there's a lot a lot of stuff going on between 15071 15083 and then you just have the high price of 158087 on the top side that we have to get to and through on the downside in the short term we're going to be watching the uh, 100 and 200 hour moving averages those uh, come in at 15030 15037 stay above that, those levels now after uh, after we uh, tried to break it earlier and then failed and then moved back above it now try basing against that level but stay above it is more bullish up for the dollar versus yen move back below that level and intraday we start to rotate back to the downside i would expect let's uh, finally take a look at the sterling versus us dollar and um, you know we have the uh, you know 125.94 up to 128 type area through here that is going to be uh, you know, that this is going to be our, our support area this is our resistance level up here we've been uh, you know last uh, four or so weeks been uh, trading on the lower end of this uh, of this red box right through here and we still do on friday we in the uh, pound versus us dollar we came down to the low area of that uh, the low of the swing area between 125.94 and 126.13 and found those uh, support bars to push up and we're seeing uh, uh, increased momentum in trading here today we are above the uh, 200 bar moving average that's a green line in this chart we're also above the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart right here we're above the 38.2% retracement of this last move to the downside when we broke outside of this box. But uh, note last week, we didn't break outside of the box here. We stayed above it, so that uh, has given the buyers a little bit more control. As long as the price can remain above the 126.52 level now, um, I'm going to give the nod to the bulls. If we break below that level, it's more neutral. If we break below the 100 bar moving average, a blue line right here, then it's more bearish. But uh, on the top side, we're going to have the uh, high price from uh, la uh, not last week, but the week before, which came at 61.8%. It's 127.09 uh, as the next target. And ultimately, if this price is going to go higher, we need to get above this 128 type area up on the top side, and then get and then get above the high for the year. And going back uh, to at the 127, 28.27 level. Uh, that would be the progression. So watch the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart at 1.2652 and we'll see what goes on from there. So there you have it. A look at the uh, uh, three major currency pairs to kickstart your trading day, to kickstart your trading week. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.